All right, let's talk keyboard shortcuts in Excel. We're gonna talk about 10 of the most useful keyboard shortcuts that I use almost daily when I use Excel. And keep in mind that these are in no particular order. But number one, often when you have large sets of data, you can kind of scroll through and you're gonna kind of forget what each column is. Like, oh, is this the ID number? Is this the product number? What is that, right? So you have to scroll all the way back up to the top and look at the headers. So it would be really nice if this header just kind of stayed as you scroll down, right? So the keyboard shortcut to freeze that pane is essentially you just need to click in a cell within that row you want to freeze and you select Alt WFR and then that's going to freeze that pane. So then you're going to have that header throughout all of your data while you're scrolling. Now to unfreeze that you can just go to freeze pane and then unfreeze panes and then boom, it's back to normal. Next, control shift arrow. So basically that's gonna just select all the data in accordance with the arrow that you choose, right? So if I do control shift down arrow, it's gonna highlight and select all of those cells below the cell that I'm selected. If I do control shift right arrow, it's gonna do highlight everything to the right. All right, so number three is all about adding or removing columns or rows. So if I select a column and I hit Control Shift Plus, that's gonna add a column. If I hit Control Minus, that's gonna get rid of that column. And the same goes for rows. If I select the row, Control Plus, or Control Minus, that's gonna get rid of the row. This next keyboard shortcut is gonna show, is gonna allow you to move data in rows or columns around without deleting data that's already there. So if I select this row, and you'll notice that if I hover over the line on the row, it'll change the cursor. If I do shift, click, and I drag, I can put that data anywhere without deleting it, right? So if I, if I just do it normally without hitting shift, it's gonna ask me to replace or delete the data. So, the just, the, so this just allows you to move the data around without erasing anything. All right, so number five is all about finding and replacing. So if you look in this data, we'll notice that Iowa is spelled wrong. So if we hit Control H, that's gonna bring up the find and replace menu. So we're gonna wanna find all of the Iowas and replace it with the correct spelling of Iowa. And we'll just hit replace all, and that's gonna change all of these rather than having to do it manually one by one. So kind of a nice shortcut there. All right, so this next one is a quick way to copy cells. All right, so say I wanna copy revenue over to column G as well. I can just hit Control R, as in Control Right, right? And that's gonna copy that. If I go to the cell below and I hit Control D, it's gonna copy what's above, right? So it's just kind of a cool way to, to quickly copy and paste things that are adjacent. All right, so let's say that this product number wasn't correctly inputted and that there's actually only three numbers associated with each product and we, and we wanna get rid of the other two. So what we could do is manually go, well, the last two are five oh, so we just need to put six, seven, six, seven, and then we just need to do seven, seven, five, and so on, right? Or we can do the, the shortcut to, in a sense, auto fill and follow that same pattern and we would do control E. And for that entire column, it's gonna follow that same pattern that we had established, rather than having to do that manually. So another useful shortcut that you can use. All right, so let's say we wanna add another a line item here and we just forgot all of the states that are involved here. Alt down arrow, that's gonna give us a list of everything that's been inputted in this column so far. So that way we can easily select, oh, well this is Minnesota, Iowa, or, or whatever. All right, so let's get rid of this real quick. And for this next shortcut, all right, so for this next shortcut, let's just say we wanna take the revenue. We actually wanna times revenue by four for whatever reason. What we can do is create a formula where we take this cell and then times that by the four, right? Pretty simple. And so if we do that and then we drag all the way down, it's gonna give us weird numbers because it's not gonna follow that four. So what we can do is anchor the cell and we can do that by selecting FN F4. And that's gonna put dollar signs in front of the H and in front of the, in front of the column and in front of the row of the cell, essentially anchoring that cell to this location. So then if we double click this corner, then that's gonna follow the same pattern. It's gonna keep that four. So that is one of the most useful 
shortcuts that I've ever used. Rather than having to type in that dollar sign to anchor cells, you can just hit FN F4. All right, the last shortcut that I wanna show you is a shortcut that's gonna reveal all formulas on a sheet, right? If you hit control with the little apostrophe, that's gonna show all formulas throughout the sheet. So that way you can look at the formulas and, and verify them really quickly rather than just clicking in each individual cell. And then you can hit control apostrophe to remove that and have it display as normal. All right, and those are 10 super useful Excel shortcuts that I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you appreciated this video at all, please leave a please leave a comment, smash the like button, and subscribe. I know it's a lot, but I appreciate it so much. Thank you, and just have a great rest of your day.